Welcome to the Cisco Identity Services Engine and Aruba Wireless Guest Access video demonstration. This video will demonstrate the steps necessary to integrate Cisco's Identity Services Engine with Aruba Wireless LAN controllers for wireless guest network access. To begin, log into the Cisco ISE Primary Administration node and navigate to Administration, Network Devices. Click Add to create a new network device. You will need the following pieces of information name of the network access device, IP address of the device, the network device group information, and the RADIUS shared secret. For this demonstration, we're using Aruba as the device type. Next, create an authorization profile for Aruba Wireless Guest User Access. You can create authorization profiles under the Policy Results page of the Admin Portal. The authorization profile needed is very easy to create. Simply give the new authorization profile a name, and leave the access type field set to Access Accept. Next, create a new policy set. You can access policy sets via the menu under Policy, then clicking Policy Sets. Give the new policy set a name, a description, and set the conditions for its use. In this demonstration, I have set the device type attribute to All Device Types and then Aruba. Under Authentication Policy, create a new authentication rule for guest users. It's important to note that the condition for the rule be set to radius NAS port type equals wireless IEEE 802.11. Under authorization policy, create an authorization rule for guest users. Set the identity to activated guest, and for the conditions field, select network access authentication method equals PAP ASCII. To finish the configuration of the authorization rule, select the authorization profile we previously created. With that, Configuration for Cisco IIC for use with Aruba Wireless Guest Access is complete. Now, we need to configure the Aruba controller to use Cisco IIC to authenticate wireless guest users. After logging into the controller, click the Configuration tab, then select Authentication underneath Security. As you can see, I had to create a server group and in it configure the Cisco IIC Policy Services node. The guest wireless network I'm using for this demonstration is called ISE-Aruba. It's an open SSID that will use local web authentication. The AAA profile in use for this contains the Cisco ISE policy services node as the RADIUS server and will authenticate guest users. Now that we have both Cisco ISE and the Aruba wireless network properly configured, it's time to try it out. To test the configuration, I'll create a guest user account via the sponsor portal on Cisco ISE. After clicking Create Account, I only need to enter a few details to provision my guest user. After the guest account is created, I want the username and password to be sent via email, so I'll enter the email address of the guest user and click Send Email Notification. To ensure that I match the right authorization rule, I need to set the guest role to Activated Guest. The guest account has been created, and Cisco ISE has sent an email containing the credentials to the user. Now the guest can log into the wireless network. Once my guest joins the wireless network, the authentication web page is displayed. Here, my guest user can view the acceptable use policy before logging into the network. Once authenticated, the user will have access to the internet. As you can see, my guest user has successfully logged on and is being shown right here on the dashboard. Here, Cisco ISE is giving us more detailed information. It's telling us that our guest is using an Apple iPad as well as the MAC address, IP address, and the authorization profile that's been selected. By clicking on the arrows, we can even take a look at the authentication flow. This concludes the Cisco Identity Services Engine and Aruba Wireless Guest Access video demonstration. Thanks for watching.